guys welcome back to my channel today I finally decided to clean under my kitchen sink this is one area in my kitchen I do not like going into because it's so dark and creepy but as you can see it is a hot mess so let's jump on in and get decluttering when you are decluttering a space you need to take everything out so you can see what you are working with as you can tell I don't clean under hair at all it's just ugh. It's scary under there but as you see there's water stains in there but I'm still gonna deal with it so I'm taking everything out and we're gonna see we're working on. okay so I cleaned out the um, underneath the sink some things are not worth showing that was nasty so I just, I just stopped filming because it was so nasty to me I put on gloves because I was like this is disgusting so I took everything out and I lined it with something new so let me show you what I lined it with. I used, um, hold on one second guys. So this is the contact paper that I use. Um, it came from Target and it's actually the same one I used to redo my hall closet. So instead of going out to buy new contact paper, I have so much of this left so I decided to use that. And I know I have air bubbles right there and right there and I'm still working on that. So and as you can see this is kind of coming off. So. I'm going to work in there. Um, this is such an old apartment, such old wood that it's not sticking too well, so I may have to hot glue some spots, but do what you got to do. And over here is everything that came out from under there. It's not a lot, but there's a lot of stuff I don't use, so I'm going to go through this stuff. Sorry, it's a little crooked. I'm going to go through all this stuff and get rid of things I'm not using and reorganize the space. stuff I'm keeping. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna work. Oh, I'm not keeping this. Yeah, but all this I'm keeping and I'm gonna try to reorganize the space. But I got rid of a lot of stuff. All this stuff right here is going in the trash. <laughs> so I'm finished cleaning out and I put down new contact paper under there and I showed you all the stuff I kept so now I'm trying to figure out how I want to organize it. I don't want a lot of stuff in there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not crazy about going under there. <laughs> so I want to keep everything that I know that I'm gonna use and just the overflow that I have. So I always say shop your house for containers. And I usually can find things, but I could not find anything that I wanted to be in that space because what I want is it's kind of damp in there sometimes, so I want it so things can be closed. It's like my dish towels and like the um, dishwashing soap and all that. So I decided to buy something on Amazon. I found these containers. What they are, they're drawers. I researched um, on YouTube um, what you know, they use for underneath their drawers and a lot of them use these. So it's, it comes two and they were $29.99. I'll put the link down below where you can get it from. And they also had the XO, OXO containers and I went to thrift stores before I started ordering anything and I wanted the X, the OXO container with the pop-up and online they're $16.99 and you know what God is good because I went to thrift store and I found one I found two and I had this one was $2.99 and the larger one I have is um, $3.99 when this retails for $16.99 on Amazon and the large one retails for $19.99 so I did good finding it so I always go thrift stores first before I order anything so I was happy to find that so I'm going to show you how um, I'm going to put everything in the space first to see how I want the drawers and just all my containers to go in there and then I'll fill everything up this is all my stuff that I'm trying to keep or well, I'm going to keep and so I'm just going to I know what I want in certain things, so I'm going to put everything where I want it.
Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks a lot better. In the very back, I have nothing back there. Um, again, I'm not crazy about going into this cabinet, so I want everything up front, so I won't have to reach back there. But um, over here, I have my overflow of like dishwashing soap and hand soaps and cleaners and scrubbing sponges and wipes. So um, I always keep my overflow here. Behind this pole <laughs> is, let me see if I can get back there. Is my bottle spray bottles where I'll make um, vinegar and water um, for cleaning. And over here is um, more overflow of my um, multi-purpose cleaners. Um, I keep the dishwashing tabs in my 299 OXL container. Um, I keep my um, cloths in here so I can easily get to it and my sponges here because this isn't leveled again I live in an old house because the under the sink isn't leveled it kind of wobbles but hey gotta work with what you got right so this is what it looks like I hope this inspires someone to organize under their sink no matter how creepy and scary it is <laughs> um, sometimes you just need the simplest things shop your house first then thrift stores then order something um, oh, and also over here is where I keep my dish gloves. I put a command hook up here, and I just use a binder clip to hold it. So, I love it. It's perfect for me. It's Pinterest perfect to me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're first time since I'm new to my channel, thank you for watching. I hope you'll take the time to hit that subscribe button and um, enjoy more of my videos. I do DIYs and shopping hauls and all kinds of things, mommy life. Um, Hit the notification bell so you know when I put up a video. And also, if you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Guys, until we meet again, have a very blessed day.